can you tell us a little bit of your insight as to how we're going to change the mindset and behavior of divers? As government, our role is to create a, an enabling environment but allow human beings to fly. Let them actually exhibit their talent, their God-given talents. It's not really about government, it's about what you can do for the government. I mean, if you look at uh, the job we are we have embarked on uh, today, when we took over this administration just under three years ago, just the road infrastructure, 12 billion rands of uh, uh, road infrastructure. It's a really very big number. If you look at uh, the overall capex of the city of Johannesburg, we right now right now at 8 billion. 8 billion for the entire city. Just the roads alone, 12 billion. But the entire backlog was sitting at the time when I did the study in 2017, sitting at 170 billion rands. So we've got a huge challenge. And at the same time, unfortunately, our residents, and rightfully so, they want service tomorrow. People cannot afford uh, to get their cars that are damaged because of potholes. But we have the money as a city to, to be able to patch all the roads because most of our roads, unfortunately, they need not just really patching of uh, potholes, they need the resurfacing. But because of our budgetary constraints, we have to, on a short-term basis, uh, patch the support holes, but long term we have to resurface most of our roads. You know, just under 4,000 kilometers of our roads actually needs uh, resurfacing. So you, so you can imagine uh, the, way, uh, the amount of money we, we require. But at the end of the day, we, we need our residents uh, to be there with us mm. as they pay their rates. Yeah. We may, them, they must hold us accountable, make sure that we don't steal their money. We must get them value for their money Absolutely. so that when we use technology to, that can work quicker, we get it at the right price and uh, make sure that when people wake up to go to work, they do what they're supposed to do. Because unfortunately, the government that I inherited People were just there going to, to work to go and earn a salary. It wasn't about uh, service delivery. What does it mean to you to see a collaboration between public sector, private sector, coming together, passionate about something that makes this economy go? Well, I think anyone who believes uh, that government can do it on its own mm -hmm. must be living in another, in another world. Uh, yeah. I'm sure all of us, uh, we know a little bit of history. Mm -hmm. You know what happened in Russia in 1917? Mm -hmm until the collapse of uh, the, uh, the communist system in 1990. Total, total failure. So anyone would really want to, uh, to reinvent uh, such a system, I think, uh, will be looking for trouble. But I don't really believe that South Africans will fall into, into, the trap, into the trap. The only way government can succeed, and it's been proven worldwide, all successful nations, they succeeded because of their collaboration with the private sector. We need to work with the private sector to really be able to provide services to our people. One a simple example that uh, right now as a city of Johannesburg we are implementing is the inner, inner city rejuvenation. 1st of December 2016, I made a big pronouncement that I want to turn the inner city yeah. into a construction site, build affordable accommodation for our people and students, artisan training, affordable accommodation and so forth. Mm -hmm. Today, that project is a, it, it's a reality. 150 buildings are now on tender um, for the private sector to give us proposals because us as a city of Johannesburg, we don't have the money uh, to build affordable accommodation for our people. But we've got buildings which have been, which were hijacked by criminal element. Now today here we are working with the private sector to work with us as a city to demonstrate what type of new technology is there for us to really be able to repair our roads as quickly as possible because in the past, uh, up to now, we're using manual labor where you can, what uh, this technology does, uh, our team would, would really do it in a month. What we can do in, in half a day, it'll take uh, manual labor to do it uh, in, in a month. So that is why we need the, the, the private sector to come out with uh, innovation, come out with new technology, and really partner with us uh, so that all of us who can build this beautiful system of us. We've intensified our war against uh, uh, the, the portals. That's why you see me here today with the MMC, with the senior officials of the city of Johannesburg, to say, let us ensure that as a method of agency, quickly, we've got now new technology that can assist us to ensure that we can uh, patch as many holes as possible. MMC was telling me last week, uh, the way with your technology, they could patch uh, up to 200 portholes in one day. You know, that's yeah. uh, really the beauty of really okay. working with the private sector, bringing new innovation, uh, make our lives easy.